I'm Nicole Mag with Porter Hills in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're going to talk about planning for aging. I started my career as a nurse in the emergency room. It didn't take me long to realize that we had a plan. We had a problem. <laughs> Whether I was holding the paddles, asking the family what the plan was, or staring into the eyes of an 80-year-old woman at 2 o'clock in the morning wondering where I was going to send her and what I was going to do with her, I quickly realized that we do not plan for aging in this country. Our elders, our family, and society as a whole are frankly uneducated, unprepared, and unwilling to address what it means to age. And this is ironic, really, because we spend our entire lives planning. We have financial advisors and health coaches, life coaches, spiritual advisors. We meticulously plan out every aspect of our life. Yet, when arguably the most important portion of our lives, we choose to go it alone. We hope that it works out. We pray that someone else figures it out for us, and we go with the no plan plan. <laughs> and when I talk about a plan, I don't mean a retirement savings account or a condo in Florida. Most of us do a pretty good job with that. What I'm talking about is a comprehensive plan. Who's going to take care of you? Who's going to be your DPOA? Do you want a DNR? Do you want hospice? When are you going to give up your keys? Because by not planning, there is a massive impact, not only on our families and our elders, but society as a whole. The amount of money we spend every day on unnecessary hospital visits, ER stays, and um, end-of-life care is staggering. We used to have a name for this in the hospital. It's called a soft admission. When you simply admit somebody to the hospital because you have no idea what else to do with them and there's no plan. And Medicaid and Medicare pays for this. So it's time for us to change that. We have to start planning early, planning often, talking about our plans so we can put our elders back in the driver's seats of their lives and give them that control that they so desperately crave at the end of their lives. Thank you.